day while I was out in the barn, I found this piece and it was covered with dirt and it was pretty disgusting looking actually. But for some reason I fell in love with it. Maybe I've been watching too many episodes of Pickers. Anyway, I brought it in and I scrubbed it and bleached it and I found it to be a light fixture. It was old, it was broken, but I still liked it and I thought I could do something with this. So I chose some die cuts that I wanted to use for a fall project and put together a few other things that I thought I might use on this project. However, I wasn't sure at the time. You'll see there's some Bow Bunny uh, glitter glue up there. I did not use that, but I believe I used everything else you're about to see. I'll give you the names of those die cuts on my blog and I'll give you a link to that in the box below. I used several different colors of inks and again those will be listed on my blog if you're interested in seeing the names of those. I'm going to ink up my pieces now so that can get a little boring for you to watch so I'm going to fast forward this and play a little music for you. inking's done. I pulled some Play-Doh. Now, I know I could have used some floral putty, but I didn't have floral putty, and I did have some Play-Doh. So, I pulled out this Play-Doh and decided that maybe blue might be a bit of a stark color for my project. So, I kneaded the Play-Doh a little bit, and I added to it some brown ink to darken it. It turns out that the Play-Doh didn't show at all in my piece, so I probably did not need to do that. However, I learned that I could color Play-Doh with ink. As you can see, I put the Play-Doh down into the light fixture where originally there was a metal threaded part where you would put the light bulb. And I inserted my candle to see how it was gonna stand up in that Play-Doh and it worked really well. Now, I was working with some burlap earlier, and so I pulled a string from it, and that string just seemed like the perfect twine to wrap around my little bundle of wheat. Now, you're about to see that I am really bad at tying wheat, and uh, <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not a farmer because I had a lot of trouble tying this off. I'll go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to deal with the torture of watching it. Now here's my second form of recycling. I used a cereal box to cut out some cardstock or cardboard teepees to go behind the image just to give it a little more stiffness so it would stand up better. I used Aileen's Tacky Glue and I just glued a couple of pieces together with the back sides facing each other and then glued one more piece on so I had brown on both sides. Time to start putting all those little die cuts together to make my little scene of this little Native American girl planting her garden outside her teepee.
just a little bit of bling. These are just little um, seed beads um, from the local department store. I think I got them at Meijer actually. At Walmart might carry them or any of the craft stores have them. divot in the uh, light fixture and also to the back of the wreath. Um, I decided to use this so that once the season is over, if I choose to, I can recycle all of this again and use it for possibly Christmas and do a new candle holder. Hey, thanks for spending part of your craft day with me. I hope I've inspired you to take a look around your environment and maybe pick up something that you might not normally use in crafting. You might want to recycle or upcycle something that you have laying around the house. If so, hey, come share it with us at Cut It Up. Have a great day.